Hi everyone, my name is Mark Thomas. I'm one of the members of the ECHO 2022 User Advisory Group. You can find me online at Mark Thomas Builder on many of the popular social media channels. And in today's video, I'm going to show you the differences and explain between the two different types of sprayers. We have the piston pump and we have the diaphragm style. So what we're gonna do is take a look at a video clip from a couple weeks ago where I spent some time at the ECHO headquarters talking with a product expert. So let's go now to that discussion. Hey everyone, we're out here at Lake Zurich, Illinois, and I'm with Echo, and this is Jason Wilk, Senior Product Manager. Correct. All right. Yep, you got so it. So he's going to uh, answer some of my questions and hopefully help you guys out so we can learn a little bit more about the sprayers that they have. There's a diaphragm pump and a piston pump sprayer, and probably most of the ones you find in the stores are going to be the piston style, I'm guessing. Yeah, and correct. I was going to yep. see if you could explain a little bit sure. to everyone here. The differences between a diaphragm one and the piston one, what reason they would sure. want to yeah. go with different Absolutely, ones. You're, you're completely correct. The most common type of sprayer is a piston uh, type sprayer, piston pump sprayer. So here we have the MS5010 BP. This does use a piston and a cylinder, very similar to almost like a piston and cylinder that you would see in a vehicle, right? So you do have a little piston that's moving up and down every time you pump the arm of the sprayer, and that's actually what's building your pressure. So when you're mixing chemicals, if it's a liquid chemical, uh, which most of the chemicals on the market are, um, you don't have to worry about any kind of grittiness or any kind of dirt or anything getting in between that piston and cylinder, which would cause wear, just like getting dirt into an engine causes wear. So the chemical you're spraying, if it's liquid, piston pumps are fantastic. They provide a long service life. That piston creates all the pressure, allows you to spray whatever chemical you're using, and it's a general, all-around great, uh, great type of sprayer. So the diaphragm one, I have run that a little bit, so mm -hmm. it's not going to give you as much. Like each time you pump the handle, you're going to have to do it more frequently. Correct. So it's going to be more work to get the liquid out. Correct, yeah. So we do have a diaphragm model here. This is the MS4010 BPD. So the D in the model number identifies it as a diaphragm type pump. It's a completely different type of pump operation. So the characteristics of the pump of how it builds pressure and for how long it builds pressure is completely different from a piston type of backpack sprayer. Okay, now question I have. So I, we were just chatting a few minutes ago. I have the piston style pump and on one of my older models, I've replaced the o-rings and yep. done some maintenance to it and it's been working again is there much maintenance on the diaphragm type sprayer um so level of maintenance i mean really with any kind of sprayers it's keeping it clean that's usually what causes the problem um so there's really not much more maintenance from a diaphragm versus a piston or vice versa it's really just keeping it clean we see a lot of issues where um you fill it up with chemicals you may not be spraying all the chemicals and you let those chemicals sit in there and a couple of things can happen one i've seen chemicals kind of become almost like a gel-like material and it can clog filters or orifices or jets in the wand um, they depending upon what type of level and quality of seals you have in the sprayer it could deteriorate those rubber seals um, it can cause swelling of seals shrinking and cracking of seals we do use a premium chemical resistant seals in all our sprayers uh, but really keeping it clean when you're done with it flushing it out several times with fresh water you know building up pressure spraying it through the wand just to flush out any chemicals will provide your your, your sprayer with many years of so service. Each time you Correct. use it, it's Absolutely. the best idea to just rinse Correct. all that out. Yep. Like a Correct. triple rinse almost. Correct. Yeah, yeah. Usually, depending upon the chemical that you're spraying on the back of the chemical or from the chemical manufacturer, they'll tell you what you need to do to clean it. Okay. Usually, just water's fine. Sometimes a light detergent, like a dishwashing detergent, a couple drops in there. Um, depending on what you're spraying, it may even require you use a different type of chemical to neutralize if it's like very acidic. So just really, we recommend following the manufacturer's recommendation for cleaning it. Nine out of ten times, some some soapy water, just plain water, will do the trick. Okay. So a couple other questions I have. Mm -hmm. The usage for those two, so like if someone's using just some type of weed killer, yep. they're mostly going to just go with the piston pump, but what type of people do you find using the diaphragm style?
Yeah, really what it comes down is the type of chemical that you're spraying. So if you're using a liquid-based chemical, the piston pump is ideal, it works fantastic. In certain applications, the chemical that you're using, if it's like a, uh, a powder material that needs to be dissolved into the tank, um, or maybe it's kind of like crystals that dissolve in the tank, or I've even seen some chemicals that's like a giant tablet that dissolves. Anything that may add some grittiness to that solution, we don't want that to negatively affect and wear down the piston and cylinder of a piston type pump. And that's where the diaphragm really shines. This type of pump can handle, uh, you know, kind of gritty material or uh, materials that may run a risk of not fully dissolving and, uh, you know, causing a piston pump to prematurely wear. You would not have to worry about using those types of chemicals in a diaphragm type pump. So you're not going to have O-rings to replace and that type of yeah, maintenance you, to do? Correct. You won't have to worry about replacing cylinders or the little piston or any gaskets in there. So um, the diaphragm is fantastic for liquid and dissolvable, wettable powders, uh, you know, gritty solutions. The piston pump is general purpose for just spraying uh, liquid type chemicals. Okay. I didn't look at the price of these, but so I yep. understand they're probably pretty close. There's a little size. bit. Yeah, they're, they're or, within or price, about a I mean. five, five to $10 range difference, typically between a piston and diaphragm. The diaphragm pump is a little bit more complex. It does cost a little bit more, but they're very similar in retail price okay. points. And then the, I didn't look at the capacity. So yep. I'm guessing this might be like three to four. This, yeah, so I think this is a four gallon or five gallon. This is a five, five gallon. gallon. Yeah, a we, four gallon. we do okay. use some reference to the capacity and based on the model number. So yep. the MS5010 BP that has a five gallon capacity, we have one that looks exactly like this. It's its little brother. It's called a 4010 okay. BP, and that's just a four gallon capacity. For the diaphragms, um, we only have one diaphragm model in the lineup. It's the four gallon 4010 BPD. Okay. All right. Well, I think you've answered all my Great. questions. So hopefully this video has been helpful. Jason, thank you for thank you. Uh, all your information here. And hopefully if you have any questions, please put them down below. That's it from Lake Zurich, Illinois with Echo. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. All right. So a huge thank you goes out to Jason for helping explain the differences between the two different types of sprayers. So there was one other thing that I thought of since our discussion, and I wanted to just give you a, a little follow up right here. And that's if you're gonna use some house and siding cleaners in your sprayer. So some of them contain bleach, which has a corrosive nature to it. And I asked him about that and he said to avoid using the bleach type products in a diaphragm style because they're just more sensitive to that corrosive nature that I mentioned and to just use a piston style sprayer. So hopefully that helps answer all your questions. And then if you'd like to continue this conversation or join in with some other green industry pros, I recommend you check out echomeansbusiness.com. So now I just wanna say thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next one.